Hello everybody, I wanna do a video on Solex carburetors again today. I, uh, if you haven't checked out the one about the Solex 34 Pick 3 uh, electromagnetic cutoff valve, you might wanna see that one. This is just a carburetor I put together today from some spare parts. Now, I wanna to talk today about the choke on a Solex carburetor because there's plenty of videos explaining how to set the choke and we will cover that but nobody ever talks about how the choke actually works. So I want to show basically the idea of how to set the choke first, but then I'm going to show you how the choke works, how it physically works. And I think it's going to be kind of interesting to you, those of you who are into these cars. So the, the butterfly at the top here allows the choke to activate and that's controlled by this little lever right here. You can see that. As I rotate that, you can see the butterflies moving inside the carburetor. Now, let's say I set it to the wide open position. There's no choke on at all. The arm on here, inside the electric choke piece, hooks to that lever and then closes this as you go to set the choke. Now, I'm going to show you that now. I'm going to put this on. Now, I'm going to rotate it until I start to see the butterfly move. See it moving now? And Volkswagen gave you a little dot on there, a reference mark that is supposed to line up in the middle section of these witness marks here to set the choke. And it leaves it open just a little bit. If you want, you can adjust it a little bit tighter to close the choke more. So then you would use the screws here and the spacer to tighten that down into place when you had your choke set. The Bentley manual tells you to take the witness mark here on the choke piece and to line it up in the center position on these lines. So that's how you set the choke. However, how does the choke work? So the way that these work is obviously there's a, a terminal here for the wire from the coil to come, the positive wire. The carburetor is grounded to the engine. As when you turn the key on, power goes through the terminal inside this piece here. And it heats this up so that this arm, remember when we had just set the choke, the lever goes and hooks into this arm and you rotate it so that the butterfly is closed. As this warms up, this rotates counterclockwise and the butterfly inside of the carburetor comes up to the open position. And it does that electronically by generating heat inside of here. There's a resistance in there that makes the coil move. Pretty cool. And it's set to warm up about at the same rate that your engine will warm up if you have all your tin work in place, the thermostat in place, the flappers in place. Then this is basically, they engineered this so that it will warm up at the proper rate. If you don't have your thermostat and everything hooked up, this is not going to um, work properly at the correct rate. It's just another reason not to take out your thermostat and your flappers. So let's hook this up on the bench and we're gonna see it move. I have put a little mark here with a Sharpie. See, I'm, I'm actually holding this and my, the warmth of my hand has made it move. If this is, when this is totally cold sitting on the bench, it's right there. Now let's go hook it up to this battery and we're gonna watch it move. You can see the mark that I put with the Sharpie there. I'm just gonna ground this out to the housing on the choke. And now I'm gonna take the positive terminal, I'm gonna hook it up. And within a matter of moments, you're gonna see this start to, start to change. Now let's watch it. You see it moving? Ever so subtly it's moving. And it's gonna move quite a distance.
we can imagine now if the car was running, the butterfly in the carburetor butterfly in the carburetor would be very slowly moving and opening until I get to this point. So you get the point of it here. We can see and we can watch it. Now if I disconnect this, it's not immediately going to retract because every time you shut the car off, you don't want the choke to go back on if the car is already warmed up. And I can feel this having warmth in my hand. It's physically warm to the touch. Now, obviously, this will expand a little bit faster if the car is running up just because you're going to get heat from ambient temperature inside the engine bay. That will keep it like this. If I go put this in the fridge, which I've done, it'll quit very quickly retract back down and the choke would be on again if this is on a winter day or something like that. Pretty awesome of how they work. Obviously, you could. there's no real way to bench test these except for what we did right here and just see if it's working. Um, but there's no specific measurement of what kind of a distance it should um, move in a certain amount of time or anything. But hopefully this helps you to understand how your choke mechanism works on a Solex carburetor, um, any of the later model carburetors. And uh, also give you a way to kind of test yours if you're wondering if it's actually working or not. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share these videos with your friends. This is Jeremy at Hills Machine Works.